this is how professional we're going to be today. Hello everyone and welcome back to Foster the Meeple, a channel all about board games and board gamey things. Today's video, I am going to be tackling our new board game library. Many of you know that Jeff and I have recently moved into a new house and in that new house we not only have a studio space for filming and playing games and all that good stuff, but we also have a game library. I will insert a clip now of me panning over what this room actually looks like. All right, here is the current state of things. This is the game library. <laughs> As you can see, there's little to no floor. Those are my slippers and this is my standing space. You're there, and you're also in here. And these are the shelves that we have to work with. Um, definitely not enough. And there's more shelves out in the hallway. As of right now, as you can see, the room is literally just a room full of board games. It's just a room looking at me full of board games. And those board games need to be put into their homes. These are their homes. What I will say is that we don't have enough homes for all of these little guys, but that doesn't mean that they're not gonna get homes. We just have to go and buy more homes for the games. I am going to do my best today to put as many of the games as I can away on the shelves and I doubt that I'm going to get any kind of semblance of like actual organization done. My priority right now is just putting games in shelves to get them off of the floor. I also have a game table that I need to set up in here for when Jeff and I play some async games with friends. We usually play uh, games like Cuba Libra kind of on an ongoing basis async well, like with the physical game and not BGA, so we need a space to set that up. So I'm gonna do that today. If you're wondering why I'm holding the mic like this, I, I don't know where the mic stand is. It may, is it in here? Maybe. I don't know, I really don't know. So anyways, I thought I'd bring you guys along with me in case you're interested in this and enjoy watching people trip over board games and also put games on shelves. Wish me luck and here we go. I don't know where to start. Putting games on shelves. That's what we're doing. You can go here. Why? Nobody knows. There's no rhyme or reason to anything that I'm doing right now. You. Here. Ugh. No. Some games need to be stored this way. Okay? That's what I've learned. That one. Obsession. Everything falls apart. This one's still in shrink. Steampunk Rally, Fusion, still in shrink. Brass Birmingham needs to be placed also that way. Still in shrink. Let's put the shrink, this is the shrink shelf. Love when that happens. Where's the other one of those? I can't get over there. I don't know how I want to organize these at the end of the day. Like, am I going to organize them in a rainbow? Am I going to organize them by the alphabet? Am I or going to organize them by the type, by my favorites, by what's cutest, by what's prettiest? I have no idea. Valley Village. Why? Oh my God. I'm going to run out of shelves like really, really quickly. Root, anyone? Root? The root shell. Shrink shell. Oh. Well, I have a hundred versions of Ticket to Ride. They can go here. What's that? More Ticket to Ride. Because they have a whole shelf. Oh, they're not all going to fit. Shoot. It's the big boys. Big boys on top. Oh, my God. Mm -mm -mm. 
day drains me. I'm just putting everything on the shelves first and then I'll organize them. What? Yeah, we don't have enough shelves, Jeff. Jeff, we don't have enough shelves. I don't even think we have close to enough shelves. I don't think we have enough room in this room. Yes, we do. There's so many walls in here, you know? Look. Well, you also have these two L-shaped ones over here too. Yeah. I finished the box. That's it, one box. Yes, here you go. Such an awkward shape. Why didn't you take down the shrink? I have the shrink. I am, I'm not there yet. This is the shrink, also shrink shelf. That'll work. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of games in here. I don't know if you knew that about us. That we, we had a lot of games. What do we do? Um. Why? I was gonna say I could put some of them up in my office, but that's out of sight, out of mind, I feel. <laughs> I like everything to be in here. It's just that right now, there's not enough homes for everything. But there will be. Very helpful, Dave. Thank you. This is exhausting. Do you want me to do it? Well, you're complaining. I'm not complaining. You're in your room already. Your shelves are already full. No, they're not. I have lots. Where is I just need to be able to clear a path to bring in the other shelves. Yeah. <sighs> it's hopeless. You haven't even put a dent in it. I did, Jeff. This was, I was literally pinned well, right here. playing stuff doesn't go in here. Do you sit there? Ah! It's in here? Is that all the shelves? Nope. Two shelves. Your path is not very good. It's not. <laughs> I mean, you can't. It could be tight, but would it fit both? Why is it so weird? They're always like that. Okay, I could slide the boxes of small games in those ones. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Look at all these shelves. Well, I suck at this game because even when I'm not playing against anybody, I can't get all the pieces to fit. You can't get it either. You're doing great, 
chef. You are doing great. So I give up. Did you give up, Jeff? Yeah. Okay. Here's an overview of where we are. These have no home yet, but there's lots of space for homes. More space there. That's where we're at. Jeff setting stuff up. No organization. That's where we are. It's going. Look at us. Are you taking a photo? <laughs> yeah, it's a photo. It's a bit messy. Show them the games we have set up. Okay, so here's uh, our spare game table so we can do things like Cuba and then Jeff is currently going to be learning the stars of a Karyos and playing that solo. Yeah, I'm going to do this. This is our box of dice that can move. I'm going to do the, move it. the solo. Did you solo those? Well, this is our box of dice. Yeah, I'm going to do the <laughs> solo campaign for this one. Grogu. This TV is going to go up on the wall. Above the fireplace there. Fireplace. And then we have these two chairs here. Wait, I gotta get a better angle. And we have these chairs here. Yeah, they we gotta. Cushions. We, we have, have to get, get new cushions. Get new cushions. Cats but were we're in the old ones. We're gonna put something here in the middle, and then put. Yeah, we're gonna get a little like circle table, and then, and then we'll put just... Cathedral World on top. Yeah. I don't know if you've ever played Cathedral World, but it's super fun. I really like it. Small box games down there, and then I got all my cats. I got my Marquis the cat. And my nemesis cat and Sparkle Kitty. And then that's not a cat, but close enough. Our RPG stuff is all here and we need to move that somewhere. Yeah. And those are all of the games that don't currently have a place to live. I'm back. It's been like weeks since I filmed the first part of this video. So since then we realized obviously that we needed to get some more shelves, but of course Ikea has like no freaking shelves. I don't know if I need to be crouched down like this, but I can't see myself. Anyways, we got more shelves. I'm gonna show you the state of the room as it is now. So we got more shelves there, but as you can see, we still have a butt ton of games lying everywhere. There's, oops, there's some gaps in these shelves here. And there's more games on the floor. We got a couple of chairs, put our TV up. You see me in the TV, that's just a light. But if you're wondering, well, what the heck did you do with all the other games? Great question. We now have overflow. Um, so this is our basement. And this section here is the overflow. So there may be some of these games that get to come back into the other room, but for now we've put, you know, just, we just kind of grabbed boxes that were either really big or awkwardly shaped or something that we might not play very often. And Jeff has moved his painting section here. This is like a little, this is a workshop area. We've got some more like workstations. That's my little workstation. Anyways, so this is overflow. So that's kind of where we are with it. So, I think we're, we're gonna actually do some organization today. And let me just plop you down here, a chow. I think what I might do is I might put all of our, I'm gonna focus that side of the room on like shelf of shame, mainly like review copies shelf of shame. Cause I know we have way more games on our shelf of shame that, that will fit there. We need to get another calyx for the other side of the room, but they're like freaking sold out of the sizes that we need. And then I'm gonna reorganize back here. Based on what? I don't know. You know, I don't know. Do you know? Cause I don't. Let's just get into it. <laughs> this is such a like a weird, this is like high school girls when they pose for like a group photo. This is the position that you stand. I'm gonna start by pulling out all of those like shelf of shame games and review games that we have. I'm just gonna like, plop them here, which means I'm gonna need to move 
some stuff. Oh my god, there's just like boxes of stuff everywhere. Okay, so in this little section here, what do we even have? Well, first of all, this is still in shrink. Jeff's mowing the lawn, if you can hear that weird, loud noise. Okay, Under Falling Skies has been on our shelf of shame and we need to review it, so that's gotta come off. Yeah. Right, I'm pulling off all shelf of shame and then we'll separate between review and non-review. So Fury of Dracula, shelf of shame, non-review. Space Empires, shelf of shame, non-review. Here's the only thing, I'm not gonna move the GMT, actually yeah, I'm not gonna move the GMT ones that we haven't played because we're gonna try and keep them together here if we can but we do have like a distant plane wilderness war and space empires that we haven't played yet tales from the loop is a review game that we haven't played i'm so excited to play it though so why haven't we played this yet that's a box of fun right there let me tell you Oh my god, wow. Okay, shelf of shame, review shelf of shame. Yeesh. I gotta get this chair out of the freaking way. This is ridiculous. Probably can't super see well, but you can see good enough. Over here, we're actually doing pretty good. Uh, the only one from this shelf, why haven't we played this yet? It's hard for me to break up the sets. <laughs> We have not played Descent, but do I want to move it? I do not. We'll leave it there. That's not that bad. We've got some space. Oh, we haven't played Blitzball. Oops. This is the state of it right now, so far. Oh my god. I can't move. So this side here are games that we just haven't played. These are games that we need to do some kind of video or review on at some point. And we've got some gaps to fill, so that's great. Here are the games on the top. I'm just leaving them for now because they're just so large, but we've played Reckoners, Blood on the Clock Tower. We haven't played Oath Sworn or either of those or Role Player Adventure. We have played Burn Cycle and we have played Anachrony. So they're just, you know. I'm going to leave the small box games where they are. I actually think we've played almost every single one of our small box games that we have, so those aren't going anywhere special. Let's go through this. Actually, let's start maybe with the shelf. Are you guys getting motion sick by the way I'm reading you? Sorry. I actually don't think there's many on the shelf that we haven't played, but I need to move the ones that we have played over there. So obviously we played Great Western Trail, we have played Stockpile. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't know where to put these games. Okay, I feel like we played almost, I think we played every game on these shelves. Almost, not this one. And we've played all of these, so that's pretty good. But there's more crap everywhere else. So let's not get too excited. I'm literally boxing myself in. I don't know what I was thinking. What do I do? Help. I've made a horrible mistake. Okay. Maybe Windward's not a review, so I'm going to leave it here, but it's probably going to get moved. Let's look and see if there's anything here that needs to stay. Nope, 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 nope. Okay. I think I am going to move these games over there, bring those games over here but there's still more on the floor that need to come over here. That's a plan right now. I don't know how to do it. Found some unplayed games on my journey, so I'm just gonna shove them in there for now. So I just wanna look at the stuff that's around me right now. So we played these ones. I have not played this yet, so this can stay over here, but I don't know if it will fit. So excited. I haven't played it yet. Obviously, these are all in shrink. Like this one. Heavy. I haven't played these. Or this. Or that. 
Trying to see if there's anything else around that I can spy. We haven't played, but I think everything right there we've played. I can play Cover Your Kingdom. Whoa. Yikes. I'm going to get the games. One moment. Okay. You can move. You've been played. Ow. Ugh. I know I forgot one over here. Galaxy Trucker. Ha <laughs> ha. start with the games that are on our review list because they should be a priority. Am I crooked? Whatever. So I'm going to start with those, put those on the shelves because basically the reason I want to do this is so that we can like focus on which games we should prioritize for learning, which means we bought this one. So we'll take that off for now. Stuff fables and oh brother, which is the expansion. I'm very excited to play that. Tales from the Loop, Bigger, Destinies, Witchwood. I love when that happens. That's a decent size. Oh my god. Barrage might fit there. Or it might not, also. They all have to go like that. Like that. Take it out of the shrink first, so that may help. I don't like that. All of the ticket to rides I'm going to put together. Overwhelm. Rhino Hero. Where's all the, okay, there they are. So we have all of the Marvel dice thrown. It's just, I don't like that. I don't like it. Okay, it's fine. Something that could fit in there though. I could go there, I guess. Nothing's the same height. It just freaking fries me bananas. You fit, you fit. I don't know, hero, put together. That's not gonna fit there. I'm going to unwrap all of the Ticket to Rides. That's what I'm gonna do. We played that one already, but I really wanna have them all together. So, you know what? I'm breaking my own rule. This is the original one, which we've obviously played. We've got Germany. I don't know what makes these all different yet, obviously, because we haven't played them, but we're gonna do a whole video on that for you. I said to Jeff today, I don't know why, but trains make me think of the winter. I don't know why. We got Europe, the Poland expansion. Please, please, please. Now that is freaking satisfying. I hope you can see that. I'm gonna have to check the camera to make sure you can see that. Oh, you can see it. Isn't that nice? I love it. We also have this little one. Do you fit here? Of course you don't. Ugh. Oh, I hate that. <laughs> Not well. I guess we'll have to put it there for now. Ugh. Okay, so I think those were all the review games. So that's not so bad. You start filling it with some of the other stuff. Mosaic. This is not a review game. This is a, obviously a Jeff purchase. Obviously. This thing is freaking heavy. Heavy as heck, some might say. Too fat. It might fit this way. No, it does not. Still don't know where to put this stupid thing. This game is insanely heavy. Like, why? Ready, set, bet. John D. Claire. We love John D. Claire. I'm gonna bring over some more of the other Shelf of Shame games. One moment. All right. Put some of these over here. I hope this fits in here. Yes. 
<laughs> this is almost like a table nut shelf because whoa cosmic frog is max's like one of max's favorite games and max gave us this game funny <laughs> treasure island oh my god i'm so excited <laughs> I almost fell. <laughs> I'm excited to play that game. Why, uh, ugh. Okay. And Carson City. Sheesh, that's a big box. One regular and one skinny. These are the same. I don't know why I thought they were different. Okay, so this whole shelf over here is all unplayed games and all of our to-be-played review games. And there's actually only two games from my pile of like bigger games, not including these little ones from unplayed games that didn't fit. So that's good. Hmm. So just as an FYI, this is what we're looking like right now. Lots to do over there. I should probably throw away all this nonsense. I might take mosaic and put it up here, but then I'm gonna have to move those. Yeesh. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what to do there. Anyways, we'll figure it out. Maybe, do you know what might be a good thing to do now? Small box games. I think I'm gonna put them in these drawers. So let's move some stuff around. I just couldn't fit these two. That's okay. That's okay. We'll put them over here. This is full of small box games. Not full, thankfully. I'm gonna be putting some small box games in these drawers. I might put the ones that we need to review in here. So maybe we'll start there. Slender Duel. Although I might leave this out because we've already played it. I'm very warm. Hot inkling we need to review. Will that fit? Like a freaking glove. This one is gonna be too big. Um, hey, that's my fish. Can go right there. I got this game of wizard. It, the box is so jank. I got it at Valley Village for $2.99. I think it came with bananagrams also, but the box is not in good shape. Is this one deeper? No. Nope. Definitely not. I just remembered, whoa, we have a whole bag full of Mirashima Hex expansions. Like we have all of them. So these can all go in one of these. So let's put all of these in here. There's veggies. This is a great game. Claim. This is gonna have to go up higher. Damn it. That's it. All the other small box games are in the bins over there. <sighs> so now we need to focus on that side. The question now becomes, how do I want to organize these? Is there a particular way? Like, do I want to do it by publisher, by designer, by type of game? Like, do I want to put all the racing games together? I kind of do after saying that out loud. But how do I do that? I don't know. Overwhelm. I'm just going to try some stuff and see what sticks. I do want to put the racing games together. That I know. Oh my gosh. Holy sh Let's do it. Let's do it. Well, this shelf already has a bunch of Disney stuff on it, so maybe we'll keep that Disney. One theme at a time. That's all we need to worry about. Ah. Ugh. This game. Stop. I don't want to hear it. This is a racing game to me. Same thing as Camel Up. I want a section of all of my Disney games, so Villainous and Disney Rides specifically. So I gotta get Villainous. Am I 
missing one? I don't know. Okay, and then Disney guides, so Jungle Cruise, Haunted Mansion, Small World, Big Thunder Mountain. I think that's it. I need the Space Mountain one. I don't even know if it's out yet, but I need it. I do know all the unmatched games should go together. See, picking away at the easy things. Does my hair look crazy? It probably does. See how this is gonna work. somewhat of a theme that could work i guess we're gonna have to get another one wait don't we have another one we mustn't oh, i got these two little ones don't love the way it looks but whatever okay leader games is gonna need its own shell shelves amazing Ooh. scared the crap out of me it's a game we play a lot so I don't know that this is the best way to set it up but it's where we are right now like I could do a whole John B. Claire section but Cubitos is there just leave it for now don't worry about it be hot I could probably do a whole section of like fantasy flight big box games honestly do I have any other pirate games Merchant's Cove could kind of be piratey Libertalia to a pirate section. So if I played Treasure Island, that could go in this section. Haven't. Okay, so that makes that shelf. See, and also Jamaica's a pirate game, but it's a racing game. Themes are hard. Okay, I am gonna do a section of Fantasy Flight Big Box. So we have like Imperial Assault, Bellion, Jime. Sounds like I'm trying to say my name. Jime, Jime. Mansions of Madness, of course, darling. Then, Sanctum of Twilight, expansion. Nice. 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 Because why not? Why not Clank, I guess? I think I want... Like, Anno isn't a pirate game, but it's a ship-like game. So let's put Anno here, and maybe we'll put Sleeping Gods with it. Because Sleeping Gods is also... A game with a boat. I want to put Merchant's Cove here, but it's not going to fit. Brian Boru could be good. Also skinny. Right, I wanted to do Alice in Wonderland. So we got Paint the Roses. And of course, Wonderland's War. Oh my god. God, that's heavy. I <sighs> don't have any other Alice in Wonderland, but... I feel like the road to Canterbury could kind of fit within that vibe. You know, you know the vibe. I'm running out of vibes. Big box, bigger heart. Hey Jamie, what's your methodology? No, I don't have one. The time in my life has come and gone. Do I have enough like space games? I could do a space shelf. I could do a Western shelf. I could do a space shelf. Let's do a space. Quantum is space. What else is space? Space. Space. Espace. Very spacey. The spaciest. It's not really space, but it looks spacey enough. Fits like a glove. I might do a game, a uh, shelf with like Elf Creek. I think I only have two Elf Creek games, but whatever, let's try it. It would be on the bottom. That's not enough. What else can I put there? What are vibes? What a vibe? What's vibing? Meadow. I feel like meadow. Uh, no. Don't ask me why, but I'm feeling like I want to put Sturdy Valley there. That's good for now. I also want to do like a Victorian, like old school shelf. I think unfortunately we're gonna have to do an Uve shelf. Yeah. No offense, Uve. Oh my god, that's heavy. I'm feeling like I want to lay these down. 
That lid lifts though. Yikes. I want to do a couple of cute animal shelves. Or just like, yeah, cute, cute games. Maybe we'll do that over here. Of course, all those games would be on the bottom. Good. Coming along. Lots of room. So much. You don't room. think we're gonna have enough? Uh, probably not. Some more might need to go out. I don't know yet. We'll see. Yeah. Oh, Sheep are cute. Ooh, that can all go. Very cute. I want these man on the top. Probably have like a spooky game shelf. Starting to run out of themes. I do know I did say Uve. I can probably go over here. Smaller tail. This road. some war games. I think I'm now into the if it fits it sits portion of uh, organization. Let's try that. There's no longer any rhyme or reason. I'm just putting it everything where it will fit. Don't love that journey for me though. Some of them have a theme. No way mosaics going on anywhere. It doesn't fit in the shelves. It's gonna have to go on top somewhere. Yeah, that's good. Except for that Peter Gaines shelf. Yeah, well, you give me a better solution. Well, it's just because the oath box is crooked. It has lid lift. Turn the camera oh. around. <laughs> okay, we just have these two shelves left. Some spooky games. Please let this fit, it's not gonna fit. <laughs> Why? Really won't rhyme. Okay, I've got the shelves as full as I can. That's a lie. I could probably fit. Set a watch here. Doesn't look super awesome, but here's where we are. I started off with themes. I ended off doing the old, age old method of if it fits, it sits. So this is what it looks like. There's a few like skinny gaps, but I don't know that I can fit anything in those gaps. And on the top, we've got this. Now we still have <laughs> chaos on the floor. A lot of this is gonna need to go into overflow until we get another shelf for there. Once we have that shelf there, we should be able to get everything in this room, at least, on that. I might be able to fit some more of these little box games somewhere in here, but uh, yeah, that's where I am right now. I'm like, it's just, it's a lot. <laughs> There's so much stuff. Anyways, okay, be right back. Hello again. Okay, so this is like another week later probably. I've been doing this process over a while, but I think it's finally done or at least as done as it's going to be before we get a couple more shelves. So here is the final overview. Let me stand in the corner. All right, this is the door. not supposed to be there. This is all our unplayed or shelf of shame and review games right there. 
we do have a little pile there that is waiting for homes. Over here, the table's a bit of a mess because there's some rule books out, but we have our Kuba game set up, Stars of Akarios, small box games, all in here. Those ones fell over. That's okay, that's okay, but all small box games. Then, over here, we have mostly played games. There are still some unplayed games over here, but as you would have seen, some rhyme and reason in some shelves and not so much in others. No rhyme or reason. Uve. No rhyme or reason. War. GMT. GMT. Spooky. Random. 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 Anyways, you kind of get the gist. But this is basically how it looks right now. And it will stay this way for a while until I get bored someday, I'm sure. I did put up all my little minions. Where are the rest? There's one. For anybody who doesn't know, I freaking love the minions. I love them. I love them so much. There's one. There's one. Duh. Um, then TV is up. I think you probably already saw that. Fireplace. More small box games. We got the PlayStation set up in here now so we could do VR. PlayStation VR in here if we wanted to. We still need to get a little table for Cathedral World. Rug is down. Um, in here, in this old chest, is where we put all of our play mats for now. But we will eventually get another shelf to put there, I think. Um, we do still have a bunch of stuff in overstock, if that's fine. Got our chairs. And that's the room. So this will probably get changed a million more times because, you know, that's just how things work. But that is where we are right now. So that's all that I have for you today. So thank you so much for watching. If you like what you see, please subscribe. If you're interested in buying board games, like any of the many that you've seen throughout this very long video, uh, please first start by checking your friendly local gaming store. And for us, that is the Boredom Game Cafe. That's all I have. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.